Okay, in this tutorial I'll show you how I work with uh, colors in a scene, how I kind of set them up in advance. And the colors are kind of tricky at the outset. You would think they'd be simple, but they're not quite as simple as you might think. So first thing I'll do, I'll put my cursor to the center, and I'll add a plane to the scene, and I'll press S and then directly 1, 5 for a scale of 15. I've scaled it up. Then I'll grab this cube and I'll move it up, maybe shrink it down just a little. All right. And so I'll go over here to the Material tab right here, and I'm working within, I'm going to work within Blender Render like this. All right. And then from the Material tab, I'll go give this a color. Notice in here, if I press this button like this, that's the only material in here, and I'm going to change the color of that to like this purple, like this. And then I pick it, and there it is. It's, it's the only material in that slot there. And right, so I'll rename it purple, like that. All right, so now maybe I want to make a copy of this object. And I'll press Shift D and then Y and I'll move it over like this. And then notice, all of a sudden there's a number 2 that appears right here. Now take a look at that number real quick. I'm going to copy it again. Shift D, Y. And now it shows the number 3. All right? So it's telling me that there's 3 users of that particular material. Even though there's only one material there. So let me go delete it real quick. Delete that one. And I'll click that. Now it shows two. I'll delete that one. I click that, and notice the number has disappeared. All right, so that's really important to keep track of those. So I'm going to Shift D and make a copy of it. So there's that copy there. I'm going to do Shift D and make another copy. But now let's say I want to change the color of this one here to something else. So if I go in and change it directly to maybe yellow, it changes them all because they're all using the same color. All right, so I'm going to control Z that. So if I want to change just this one to yellow, what I have to do is, well, there's several ways you can go about doing it, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to press U on the keyboard, and it brings up this menu for making single user. You can get it down through the object menu also. But I'll press U, and then I'm going to select make single user object data, materials, and texture, like that. And then by doing that, see it made it a new name, purple.001, and if you go click this now, you see there's only two copies of it. So these are now separate textures. That's purple, purple, that's purple.001, but I'm going to turn this into yellow. And I'll rename it as yellow. Okay, and then I'm going to copy it again, Shift D Y. I'll move that over here. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to press U, change that there. I'm going to make this one blue. And I'm going to change the name to blue like that. And so now I have all these different colors. Maybe I'll change this one over here as well. I'll change this now. Since this is here, I'll press U like that. Turn this green and make it green. All right. And now let's say maybe on this one, I want this one to be transparent. So I come down here and you'll notice down here you have transparency. You can set right here. It should be set like there. You just click that. And then for alpha, alpha becomes available. If I turn it off, alpha is not accessible. So, I, and I'll just turn the alpha down. And that's at halfway makes it half transparent. So it's about half transparent in there. But yet I don't see any transparency going on in here, even though I just said it. Well, one of the things that has to be done is you have to be in texture mode. I'm in solid mode. But let's see what happens in texture mode. Well, I still don't see any transparency. All right, so. And in this case, what you have to do is you need to set the shaders to GLSL shaders. And you can do it one of two ways. You can either go into Blender game mode for a moment, and you come up here to the camera, and you come down here, and you can select it like this, there. All right, I'll set it back. Or from Blender Render, I can just bring up the Properties window with N, and I come down here under display right here and down here multi texture and you can change it in here. Now notice if you happen to be in cycles render this won't work because watch if I change the cycles render that option disappears. So the parameters are different within cycles. They're not it's not the same type of rendering. Alright so now I've changed it to the GSL GLSL shading. Get rid of this window and now when I change back over to texture mode now there's my transparent object set for me right there. So that's really convenient and a very powerful way to work, especially because of the speed of the computers these days. You can turn all these things transparent, and it, and it does a pretty nice job.
Okay, and then also sometimes what I'll do in advance for these materials is instead of setting, you know, putting an object in, then setting a color, sometimes I'll just have a color set in advance. So I'll add colors to the material slot over here. So we have blue, green, purple, yellow. Well, maybe I want uh, cyan and magenta as well. So I'll maybe add two material slots here. I'll go one, two, like that. I'll pick that one and then I'll call that new and I'll call that make that cyan and then for this one I'll make it magenta and I'll name it as well so now these now the now all of those are in the list and then whatever one's selected maybe I have this object selected then I could just go pick up cyan out of the list and it changes it like that okay well that should help get you started and um, well maybe one other thing that you see sometimes this lighting is kind of flat is a lot of times I'll come up here and I'll add a spotlight to the scene a lamp a spot lamp like that because spot lamps are cool because they cast shadows as you can see right there and that helps make some nice dynamic effects and also move this lamp down close to the surface see that extra brilliance there I better go change this real quick and just drop that specularity down get rid of that give that a color and uh, nah, this is interesting notice this here sometimes oh I guess that's right yeah that's right I see the color so I thought I had my plane flipped upside down all right. All right. Well, that's it for this lesson, and I'll see you in the next lesson.